Hello. This week's video is all about what kind of camping equipment you need as a photographer. It's gonna be really simple because most people don't go to these extreme levels of camping. They just simply need a camera and a few different things. But I'll show you what my setup is and what I'm taking away with me. So maybe you can get some ideas of things that you maybe take on your next trip away. Things to think about keeping in your kit at all times. Mainly in my 35 mil section, I've got a point and shoot and that's great. So I can just snap around campsites, the towns that we pass through in the car. It's very quick, very easy, very forgiving. So I keep that in the kit because I just think that it's better than anything else at capturing everyday moments. It's loud, it's obnoxious, sure, but it, it doesn't lie, you know, it is exactly what it is. It's just a point and shoot, it's simple, and that's what makes it great. The other camera I've got in my 35mm kit is the EOS 500. This camera I've been talking about a lot on the channel recently. It's a banging, cheap Canon camera with just such an amazing feel. So, so easy to just throw around you and forget about, you know, it's lightweight, it's completely plastic. I don't really worry about it, and that's what is its perk is I can just throw it around my around my shoulder and it's absolutely fine no matter where I go and then finally in this bag I've got like a camcorder I guess a dad cam is the best way to put it and that is like a five megapixel thing that each file that it puts out is so small which is going to be great for this trip I only have one battery charge but it should last long enough just to be able to pick some pick some moments, pick some memories, and just take some footage. Um, that isn't like this resolution that I'm shooting on right now. It's just a little bit more friendly and much more casual, especially it feels much more casual while making the videos itself. They have a certain quality to them. So I put that in the kit because I think it's really, really important. I've got a lot of film, and the film that I chose was a bit of Portra 400 for the 35, some uh, Foma 200, for the black and white on the 35. And then the final 35 is Color Plus, Kodak's Color Plus 200. I'm pretty keen for all of these film stocks because I think that they're all really solid and they're gonna be really good picks for the environment in which I'm going to, which is kind of what you've got to consider while picking your film stocks before you go away, is where are you going, what are you shooting, and then pack or buy film accordingly because I think that for me, it's gonna be very, a lot of oranges and a lot of skin tones that I need to bring out. So I bought Color Plus because it's got this like really nostalgic orange, like sunset feel just in the film. So that should really complement the places in which I'm going. So I'm very keen to see how it all turns out. I also have some expired film stocks here as well, which should be really interesting too play with in a bit of like a rundown country kind of uh, atmosphere I think they'll be really really cool so I'm gonna try and put them through as well and for my medium format setup I've got the one and only Mamiya RB67 this thing's a tank and it kind of sucks to bring it around but it is my only medium format camera currently not that I've got anything against it I'm just saying it's heavy I love this camera I've got two backs One's gonna have black and white, one's gonna have color in it at all times. I basically only have Portra 160 and uh, Tri-X 400 as my two film stocks for this whole trip. I've got about 10 rolls in total, I think. And I've got some E100, some slide film. So, it's not really much to say about it. I've just, in both bags, I've got a light meter, I've got sunscreen, I've got a notebook, and just some everyday bits and pieces like cords and all that kind of stuff just to make sure that you're always charged up, you're always ready to go. They've all got power banks and stuff there too. That's about it. That's really all the equipment I actually have and I'm going to take away with me. It looks like a lot when I've got the two bags and I feel like I'm taking too much, but with the Sony a7 III that I'm filming on right now, that'll be the only other camera that comes with me and hopefully we'll be able to make some nice photos. For me, this trip is gonna be focusing on just taking some time out. I will not be posting on Instagram and I won't be really doing anything other than 
just enjoying the place and the space that I'm in and the people that I'm with. So I'm looking forward to just going away for maybe five or six nights and spending some time out in some national parks. And it should be really pleasant. I will try and make some videos, uh, if not like a giant collection of both photos and videos, a bit of a recount of the whole trip, which you will see in the coming weeks, probably in two weeks. In other updates, I've also received my chemicals from the camera store that I ordered a long time ago. They're finally here, which is great because I've been waiting for ages and I was worried that my C41 is gonna start not working. So yeah, I'm gonna go pack this camera back in its bag and see you guys in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. Cheers.